do, we'll send you a file. Okay. This first picture, let me just make sure, is uh, how long it takes us to get to the ocean. And we picked Ocean City, Maryland. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. But what you're getting is a picture of the map and how to get from where we live in New York to Ocean City, Maryland. Can anybody here, while they're getting that file, share with them how, how long it takes us to get there without traffic? Okay, Tony? It takes us three hours and 31 minutes. Do you want to tell them how many miles it is? And 193 miles. So we can access the ocean, get access to the ocean in just three my uh, three and a half hours. Okay. We also figured out how long it would take you to get to the ocean, uh, the Atlantic Ocean, which is closest to us, and we're sending you that picture as well. But while you're waiting for it, can anybody share? Well, first of all, has anyone in your class been to the Atlantic Ocean? You've been to the ocean? We have one, it looks like. Okay, okay, good. Well, there's probably a reason why you don't have more students in your room taking a, a driving tip to the ocean. Can you share why? Espen? Hmm? They're talking to the person. Come on. How long does it take? Uh, um, 1,407 miles, 21 hours and 45 minutes. Were you able to hear that? Yeah, 21 hours, he said? And 45 minutes. And 45 minutes, almost 22 hours. Yes. Yes. So almost a whole day. Yes. Yep. Yes, that's a lot of driving. Um, a lot of us. A lot of people that live here go to the ocean for the weekend sometimes. And it's not that big of a deal because it's not that far. Um, there was another screenshot that we took, and now I can't find it. But we decided that we, it would be also very interesting to, to see, oh, maybe this is it, how far away we were from you. Okay. So let me see if I can find this. Is this it? We got your two maps. Yes. Those look good. Okay. Now, this is the last one that we have. And if you were going to drive to our, like, to our town, the third map shows how long it would take you to drive to visit us. And this is kind of incredible when you think that we're talking right now with each other. Does anybody want to share that information? Eli, how many hours? 18 hours and 51 minutes. To drive to where they are. Fifty-one miles. Yep. So you're over a thousand miles away from us, and we're talking to you like you're right next door, right right down the street, which is kind of interesting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's how we would get to them. Whoa. <laughs> Where we, we get to the ocean is probably it's almost the same way. All right, it's the same way. Yep. Yep, it is. So you would probably drive close to where we are to get to the ocean. So we had a question for you. And one of those things, one of the questions was what are some of the things that you are doing and learning about in school? Who has an idea? We have several. I'll just call them and they'll just yell them out. Okay. Cursive. Cursive. Okay. Are you guys learning cursive in third grade? Yeah. yeah. We have all of our lowercase letters and now we're working on our uppercase letters. Wow. You have more of the alphabet covered than we do. Okay. <laughs> Let's listen to some other things. Madison? Oh, we're learning multiplication. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And we have some division also. We kind of learn them at the same time. Uh-huh. Logan? <coughs> okay. 
We are learning about penguins. We just started this week. Okay. And they really lo are loving that. Yesterday we did a reader's theater uh -huh. uh, with Aki the penguin. <laughs> they got to act that story. Some, did you hear them? They like that story. <laughs> I bet you can use quite a lot of expression when you are acting that one out. And yes. We get a little crazy when we do it. Okay. Anybody else have one? I think that's it for that question. Okay. Not right now. Okay, did you have another question for us? We did, and that question was, what kind of weather do you get in the winter? And do you ever get school called off for snow? What kind of weather do we get? Jessica? We get a lot of snow. We got a blizzard. We got a blizzard this year. Already. The, the last day of last semester, we had to get out of school early because snow was coming, and we ended up with about eight inches of snow. The teachers were supposed to come to school the next day, but because of the roads being too dangerous, um, we did not have to come in. So we did have a snow day that day. Okay. Now, is that typical, or is that something that you don't experience often? The eight inches? Yes. We usually have about one or two times a winter that we have that much snow at any given time. Okay. So that sounds kind of similar to what we have. We had a kind of a strange, bizarre thing happen this year. We had two days called off because of rain. Um, wow. You might have heard of Hurricane Sandy, and you might have seen pictures of the roller coaster that was on the New Jersey shore that was in the ocean. Yeah, um, I actually showed that picture to them. Did you? Okay, well, the effects of that, there was the hurricane there, but we got a lot of rain because we're not that far. We're only like three or four hours. And so the conditions were uh, flooded and so we did not have school for two days. Now we have to make them up. Do you make up okay. your snow days? Um, we have, I don't know how many built in, I think probably about five. Okay. But after that then we have to make them up at the end of the year in May. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, in our neighborhood we had this tree fall down in our park and um, I actually heard it and it actually crunched up some of the fence that was on it, and it fell over through the street. Yeah. So they had to, so people could have tried to get that for a couple of days. Yeah, they had to cut it down. Yep. So, yeah, there were some effects of Hurricane Sandy here. Now, we had another question for you as well, and that question was, um, what are some fun things to, that you do in your community? Cassidy? We go swimming in the swimming pool. Um, Ella? We do scare the square. Do you remember? Um, I think we might have shared that with you last time we talked. Do you remember what scare the square is? I remember hearing about it, but I'm not exactly sure that I recall. Oh, I do. I, I, yes. Okay. Do you want us to explain it again? Okay, Ella, do you want to explain it to him again? Scare the square? Jessica is going to explain it. Okay. It's where you dress in Halloween costume, like the night before Halloween or, or the, like two days before, and you can go around our town square and you can go to these stores and they'll give you candy. So all of the stores that are around our courthouse square, um, we go trick-or-treating trick -or to those stores and they hand out candy. Okay, now you remember some of you? Just like what? We can go golfing in our community is another one. Okay, good. Anything else? We go to the splash pad. Do you know what a splash pad is? No. I remember 
um, it's a place where a whole bunch of, in the summer, yeah, there's like toys and water that comes down on you. It's really fun. So it's on cement and water sprays up from the ground and then there's things above that spray water out. It's just a little, it's free to the public and you can just go there and play in the water. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Is there anything else that you wanted to share? We also go sledding, if we can find a hill. So do you guys have any good hills in your town to go sledding in? Yeah. Yes. We have some kiddos that really like to sled. Yes. Yeah, we only have a few hills, but I think some of the kids probably hook up their sled in the country and get pulled by four-wheelers. Yeah. Now, is your community mostly a rural community? Wait. I'm sorry, will you say that again? Do you live in mostly a rural community? Farmland and countryside? Or do you live in a town? Rural. Rural, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we live in a suburb, um, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty full of developments. There have been a lot of houses built over the past 20 years in this community. So what used to be farmland is now um, a lot of neighborhoods. There mm -hmm. still are some farms, but yeah. did you have a question, Nathan? I've got a big farm that has a bunch of wood right in front of my house. Okay. Thank you. Now you had a couple other of other questions for us. Um, you asked us yes. how long it took to get to the ocean. You yep. asked us what college football team is in your state. Now we have a couple that are pretty well known that you may have heard of. Daniel, can you share one of them? Um, Penn State. Yeah. Yep. That's what some of us were guessing after we asked that question. I said, well, we can ask it, and they might have more than one. Uh, and Penn State is probably the closest big college uh, that you would go to a football game um, to us. There is another pretty large school in our state that has a pretty decent football team. I'll let Ben share because I think it's his fave. Well, it's not my favorite, but it's my dad's favorite. It's his dad's favorite? And my favorite. Go ahead. Pitt. Pitt. The Pitt Panthers. Have you ever heard of Pitt? From the University of Pittsburgh? Yes. Yeah. Pittsburgh. So it would take us about four hours to go see one of their football games. And how long it was it to Penn State, did you say? Um, I think about two, two and a okay. half. Not very it, you can go and come back in the same day. Right. Our division one football team is in Lincoln, which is a little bit over an hour away, mm -hmm. and they are the Corn Huskers. <laughs> you know what? A lot of the kiddos in the well, some of our avid football fans, I should say, not me, but they knew that it was that you were going to say the Corn Huskers. Sarah knew you were going to say the Corn Huskers. Okay. There was another question that you asked us, and we're going to um, we're going to ask a question after we answer your question. Okay, so you have to listen carefully. You ask, what time does your school day start um, and end each day? Now, the bell rings a little bit earlier than this, but our final bell, the bell that you have to be here by, uh, is at what time? Katie, can you help us out? Okay, were you able to hear her? Nine o'clock? Yep. And then the final bell rings when? Katie? You forget. Okay. Libby, nice and loud. 3.35. Did you hear that? 3.35? Mm-hmm. So our question is, about how many hours are we in school? Oh, did you hear? She said, how many hours are they in school? We just worked on this in math a couple days ago, so we'll see if we can come up with it. About how many? So it starts at 9, and they get out at about 3.30. So we have six hours and 35 minutes as our answer. Wow, are we good? Yeah! You get, a, you get an ovation for that. Now, how long is your school day? 
How long is our school day? We start at what time does yeah, the, la, the tardy bell ring? 8 20. 25. 8 is when the tardy bell rings. Okay. And what time? And 3 15 is when we get dismissed to go out. Okay, so about how many hours? From 8 25 a.m. to 3 15 p.m. Does anybody have? Okay, Libby, you have an idea? Let's let people think just for a second. Six hours. Go. Did you hear her? No, we didn't. Six hours and 15 minutes. Six hours and 15 or 50? Seven hours and 15 minutes? Seven hours and 15 minutes. Close? Yeah. Close, we say, yes. Okay, so your school day is a little bit longer than ours then. It's just an hour. Just yeah. an hour. Now, I do have a question. Do you have um, specials every day? Yes, like we do. you go to music or art? We do art once a week. We do library once a week. And then we we alternate our PE and our music every other day. Oh, nice! <laughs> Time out. That's okay. It's just different. Here we have we are on a six day cycle. So we have what do we have on day one? Day two we have. Day three we have. Yep. So today we have no special. Day four we have. Art. Day five. Library. Day six. Music. Yep, so we have library twice a cycle, but there is a day that we don't do, We well, we do a lot of stuff, but we just don't go out of the room to do it. Okay. I see. We have your box. Okay. <gasps> They're excited. I can see what I saw. Okay, sit down. Sit down. Okay, so we have your box. And now we're going to do the big reveal. Uh oh. It's a box. There's packing. Okay. We have an Aurora. Sit down. Sit down. We have an Aurora Elementary pen. Very sweet. So, what are your colors? What are our colors? Red, white, and black. We have a note. Okay. okay. And we have something that we'll have to make next week. Okay, now there's probably a reason why they, we have Kool Aid. We have. Thank you for the yummy treats, pen, and notepad. Have a seat. Thank you. Here's some Kool-Aid for our cool Skyping friends. It originated in Hastings, which is 45 minutes away from Aurora. So Kool-Aid was invented in Nebraska. Right. Created, innovated. So we have a little taste of Nebraska. We are not going to eat Nebraska. We are going to drink the Kool-Aid. We will make this next week, Mrs. Peterson. All right. I hope you enjoy it. You'll have to let us know. Has anybody ever had Kool-Aid? Um, um, I would say about three quarters of the class, if not more. Okay. So that'll be a good stop. Okay. okay. So. Mrs. Peterson, hopefully we can meet again. Maybe as you learn about penguins, you yeah. can share some of that information with us. Yeah, we would love to do that. Okay. Mr. Dura wanted me to ask you um, about a potato chip project oh, that he has done with you before. And he didn't know what your plans were, but he said that it was really awesome and that we were supposed to say that we would be willing to do it with you if that was something that you were interested in. Yes. How about I email you? They're okay. saying yes, they don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll email you about that. That would be fun. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good weekend.